Hello everyone and welcome. This is Kedar Katre and I am the technical product manager at Reno Electronics. I would like to introduce you all viewers to our first episode of the technical video cast. I will be covering many topics including some features that get released with every FlexiSoft update. In this video I will be covering MQTT, a feature that was recently introduced in our latest FlexiSoft update. Let's get started. Now what is MQTT? MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. It is basically a communication protocol used over TCP/IP. It is fairly a new protocol that is quite popular in the IoT or the IoT space. In the industrial space, it can be used to communicate between two or more machines or between a machine and a SCADA system. The method of communication takes place by publishing to a topic and subscribing to the same topic. the communication happens between an mqtt server which is also called as a broker and a client so what exactly is mqtt let's compare it to a real world day to day example a newsstand is a place where a consumer can go and buy newspapers he can get the latest news in the market that is available at the newsstand similarly the newspaper company prints and publishes the news on a paper and provides it to the newsstand in this case the newspaper company becomes the publisher of the news the consumer that is you becomes the subscriber of this news the information in this case is passed from the newspaper company that publishes to the consumer who subscribes through a common broker these two entities communicate over a common topic of interest called the latest news Although the technology has advanced quite a lot where we can now get the latest news over the television the concept remains the same the news channels publish the latest news over a certain channel these channels get published to a broadcasting service provider which acts like a broker the consumer subscribes to these channels provided by the broadcasting provider as you can see the news agencies publish over a certain channel x and the consumer has to subscribe to the same channel x to get that information this is similar to the concept of a topic in mqtt so by taking these real life examples that we experience almost every day the concept of mqtt is exactly the same let us consider a temperature sensor recording a certain room's temperature this will act as a publisher publishing its values over an mqtt broker these values get published over a topic named as room temp an hmi is a client who is interested in knowing the latest room temperature values this hmi will subscribe to the mqtt broker over the same topic that is room temp now how do i connect reno's devices to an mqtt broker for this the following requirements first need to be met You need to have FlexiSoft version 2.36.05.11 or later. This is available on our website in the software download section. I will be posting a link in the description below. After you have downloaded FlexiSoft, install it on a Windows machine. The MQTT feature is currently provided on all Ethernet-based FP4 devices. The demonstration in this video will include a setup similar to the one I described in the example earlier. I will be using a DHT11 temperature sensor that is commonly available in the market. This sensor is set up to publish to the MQTT broker directly. I will be using an FP4070 TN device that can communicate over TCP/IP to the cloud broker. The topic for this communication will be room temp. Be aware that the topic field is case sensitive. so any change in casing will create a new topic altogether open flexisoft and click on project new select the fp4070 from the product drop down menu select the tn model which has the ethernet port on it and click okay wait for the settings to load up as you can see we have the new mqtt feature enabled for this device
The broker is currently situated externally on the network. Select the version of the protocol and then put in the broker's IP address. Here the address is 192.168.0.113. There is no username and password set for this demo, hence I leave it blank. If you have a registration ID given by the broker, put that in, else a unique ID should be entered. Click on OK to save the broker's settings. Now click on subscribe to enter topics to subscribe to. Here the topic name is room temp. Enter a description and click on add. The newly created topic gets added in the list. Make sure you click on OK to save the topics. Now we need to set up the tags. Click on tags to set it up. Let's hide the system tags first for simplicity. I'll enter a tag name as temp1 and click on subscribe and select the correct topic. Click on add and close. As you can see a new tag gets added. We have now created a tag that will be subscribing to the topic room temp that gets published by the sensor. I'll now make a screen to show the subscribed values. I'll add numerical data to be shown on the screen. And I'll adjust the font size if necessary. I'll assign the correct tag name to the data, which here is temp1. Finally, I'll have to make sure the data type is correct with correct digit formatting and I'm all set. You will follow similar steps when you want to publish tags from the device to the broker. You'll just need to add topics in the publish settings and make sure the tag is checked to publish. Once it's ready, click on download to download it to the FP4 device and run. As you can see in the picture, I can now view the temperature value published by the sensor that my device has subscribed to. This was the shortest way in which you can communicate between a sensor and an FP4 device using MQTT protocol using Plexisoft. We at Reno Electronics design and manufacture a number of factory automation products. As you can see, we have a host of products specially designed for industrial automation needs. We produce HMIs, HMIs with IOs, PLCs, industrial PCs, gateways, remote IOs, and many more. Please let us know how you like this video and also let us know if you would like us to make many more of such informative videos. Please feel free to reach us at inquiry at renewelectronics.com about your questions regarding any of our products. Please like, share and subscribe to our videos and let us know your comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching.